Okay, well, this is a project that Ryan and I had uh, envisioned, and as soon as they got the, um, the railroad station uh, all refurbished and everything, we wanted to um, take a, a neat picture, not just a regular snapshot, but something unusual. Uh, night photography works well for that. And um, so our thought was, how can we uh, make the railroad station uh, speak of the history of it as well? Because it used to be uh, not only freight trains, which it only does today, it's only a freight thing today, but it used to be a passenger station too that would uh, people would come and get on the train there. But there's no passenger trains anymore. So how could we sort of give people an imagination of what that might have been? And we figured out that a time lapse might do uh, might be valuable. Might that might do the trick. So what we did was got up all our gear. We had some extra lights and cameras and tripods, and we went down with uh, Ron Watson. He turned all the lights on in the uh, the uh, station for us, and uh, we set up on the side that you actually see the the photograph was taken and did a lot of test shots. And after we finished that, Ron said, "You know." I think the train's going to be coming from the other direction. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so I said, okay, well, we'll go to the other end of the station where the caboose is. And we reset up everything down there and tried to get some shots. And then my hearing is not as good as Ryan's. And all of a sudden, Ryan said, I hear the train whistle. And I said, Which this, where's it coming from? And he said, well, it's coming from the other way. We're on the wrong end. <laughs> and so... Uh, we had to quickly gather up our extension cords, yeah. our lights, and everything, and move back to where we had started. And we scramble. didn't. No, it was, wasn't it? We had very little time to get set up again, and of course our exposures were a little different and everything. We weren't that prepared, so when the train came by, we just uh, crossed our fingers and and uh, <laughs> right. And uh, but it turned out great. It turned out yeah. one of the the nicest. Uh, images we've ever done. I'm really proud of it. I was really glad to have Ryan helping me with it and I couldn't have done it without him. I could never have moved all that gear around without him. So that's uh, that's how we did that photograph.